Hey folks, happy Easter. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Justin as always, and you're on Fast Entrepreneur. All right, let's get into it. Uh, we got a good one. Doing a little recap of uh, kind of the land of crypto. Obviously nothing I say is financial advice. Always do your own research. I'm just a guy that's, uh, you know, driving, talking about uh, crypto coins and stuff. All right, so. Um, First off, if you haven't noticed, I got a little orange. Uh, yesterday was Easter. We were, you know, painting with non-toxic, I should say. It was non-toxic uh, pens. Okay. So, let the festivities roll. Um, so, here's what I'm looking at seeing in the crypto world. The markets in general, you know, mostly, uh, you know, just kind of sideways and whatnot. But um, as things are sideways or even dropping... Uh, the Cosmos ecosystem seems to be having just lots and lots of rumored and, and confirmed airdrops, as we mentioned before. Uh, most recently, uh, the Crescent Network, uh, kind of a DEX, uh, rebranding of the Gravity DEX, um, dropped some coins to some folks. Um, there is talk of Evmos, uh, which was already launched, uh, but they're had a, a snafu they're they're um gonna be relaunching and the joke is when right when em knows uh but that may be upcoming anyways long story short seems like all of these airdrops seem to be going to you know just basic you know adam juno uh, sometimes osmo secret stakers etc very interesting stuff um so yeah, you know, stake in the Kepler wallet, you know, yada, yada, yada. All right, what's next? Um, on the airdrop front, so here's my thoughts on airdrops. So airdrops, you know, you can get them a few different ways. You can get them by interacting with a platform. You can get them by holding or staking a coin. You can get them, um, you know, by testing out, you know, incentivized test nets, etc. So I'll kind of break these down. The incentivized test nets, um, what's interesting is, you know, basically you're trying this stuff out, you know, these platforms out before they actually go live uh, and you're trying it out for free, right? It doesn't cost you any real money um, necessarily to do this. So, uh, you know, you test it out, they give you some fake money and sometimes you gotta, you know, jump through some hoops, you know, take some screenshots, whatnot. And sometimes it's not too bad. Uh, the question, you know, in my mind is, well, is it worth it? Um, you know, sometimes they don't tell you how much, you know, or what will even be rewarded. So you don't know what you're doing or if you're just, you know, taking all these actions just for the hope, but that's part of that game. But, you know, test nets, especially on bigger projects, um, lots of potential, uh, you know, could could be worth it, uh, multiple wallets, etc. cetera. Uh, others, we've got staking, <coughs> staking and um, and our holders you know I think this is pretty self-exploratory like I said we've seen in various ecosystems uh, some ecosystems like Cosmos seem to be a little bit more active maybe it's just because they're newer or because of how they're they're um, rewarding just members of their community um, but uh, you know, downsides, sometimes you do have to stake. Sometimes, you know, you don't have liquid coins. Maybe you got a bond, you know, before you want to sell, whatever. All right, that's that. Um, and then others just trying out their platforms. So, so like, for instance, right now, I don't know when you're watching this, but I think this goes until the 19th. But, you know, this is just, there's always this stuff out there. So it's, you know, it's just a matter of calculating to see if it's, you know, what's right for you. But... Like take a platform like Open Leverage, where apparently they're, um, you know, they're providing like you know up to five x or whatever trading, um, you know, it's a BNB thing. But it looks like they're going to be rewarding you know folks that are using their platform. Um, I think for this one you have to be like a, a cake holder, so there's only a couple days left. I don't know how long or when their mainnet is, and that's the other thing is. So let's say you do get tokens, you don't know how much they're going to be worth. You don't know when they're going to launch. You also got to look at vesting schedules, not only of your own coin, but also of uh, of like the team and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. 
Uh, what else? Um, yeah, so I think that's, you know, that's kind of, I think the airdrop plays are certainly there. Um, you know, there's a lot of different resources that you can look at if you're in specific ecosystems like Cosmos. You could go to sites like Cosmos Pug. Um, you could check out Uplink. You could, you know, Cosmos at Uplink. There's a bunch of different ways that you can look into this. So, um, you know, if you want to stay up to date on certain ecosystems and what else? And then there's also just kind of like looking at the narrative and looking at like the big, big projects. So we've talked, you know, especially about like Ethereum layer two solutions like Optimism, perhaps Arbitrum, ZK Sync, etc. Again, there's no guarantee that any of these will airdrop. And sometimes it's a guessing game to figure out what the criteria will be. Uh, but being that sometimes these are very simple, you know, kind of Uniswap type looking functions, there's not a whole lot more to do except trade, maybe pool, um, farm if it's available and bridge if it makes sense uh, to maybe make you eligible but again nobody knows nobody knows how much you know you need or how you know what the volume or whatnot and this applies to the test nets as well but also to these main nets but the reason that you know focusing on some of those is that the size of these potential just because these are you know very 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 large potential market you know cap projects um you know that they may be worth your time. Uh, what else? You've got DEXs. So if you look at, you know, layer ones and, and DEXs, uh, decentralized exchanges, seems to be a pattern there. Um, what else? Domain name services. You know, sometimes you're paying like a dollar if you want to, you know, take a shot and grab a domain. And these domains, I mean, you're seeing domains for, you know, all the different layer ones. You're seeing domains for, you know, just various different projects. So, you know, it's something to think about. But again, you know, you're throwing your hat in the ring and you're, and you're, you know, hoping that uh, some of the spaghetti sticks. So, I don't know, let me know. Let me know what you think. Is this a, is this a strategy that, uh, you know, that, that you think about? Is it a strategy that you pursue? If so, what are some of the major, uh, you know, projects that you would be looking at, you know, in terms of risk reward and just for your time? And, uh, you know, what kind of successes have you had, if not, or failures, you could share them below. Um, that's about it though. But yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a lot happening and, uh, you know, it's up to you. It's up to you. All right. I got to get moving. So anyways, folks, peace. Hope this video helps. Quick little update here in the middle of, what are we in the middle of April? Um, so we'll see how this, uh, pans out. See you later. Peace.